Hello guys, my name is Gavin, and this will just be a quick tutorial on how to make a simple inventory system. Um, and I'm just getting started. So to start off, let's go from defaults to game logic and go from Blender Render to Blender Game. Alright, with this cube in the middle selected, so right click on it, let's add three game properties, make them all integer, like this. And we're going to name these as just generic pickup items, like let's say water, this next one can be food, and for this last one, let's put something like socks, like that. Let's then click all these three eyes. Make sure these are all zero, by the way. Hit game and then show debug properties. If we hit P to play, we should see they're in the top left corner like that. All right, next what we're going to do is add a keyboard sensor like this. I'm just going to rename it as space, click tap, and then put the space bar inside of there. And let's then add a controller Python right here and connect it. All right, I'm going to drag this out and do templates Python, then game logic simple this and delete the portion that I've highlighted. Hit control and scroll up to make your text larger by the way. Next let's just gonna rename this I'm just gonna rename this as inventory.py like that. Add that right here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it so that every time we press, press the space bar it's gonna pretty much run the inventory script and it's gonna randomize what it picks up water food or socks and it's gonna add a random amount of that. Um, we, that's why we have the tap selected. It's to mimic, you know, picking up an item at random kind of thing. All right, let's then import the random at the top of the script like this. And let's also get a list of our water, food, and socks by doing inventory. Inventory is going to equal water, food, socks, like that. All right, now this is important, though, because let's just say... That way we just let's just add water for one second. So own water is gonna plus equal one. If I were to hit play now, you can see that every time I tap it's gonna add water. But the thing is, water, as you can see inside of these brackets, is the exact same as water right here. And this is important because that means we can actually reduce we can actually just directly print whatever item we picked up into the into um our own property. So I'll explain how we do this. So let's have pickup, that pickup variable is going to equal a random.choice of inventory. So it's going to pick one at random, water, food, or socks. We're just going to print that to the console. Pickup, comma, and then pickup. So once we have that now, what we're going to do is once we have our random amounts, we're going to do own pickup. It's going to plus equal a random amount, so random dot randint, let's say 1 comma 10, like that. So this is important now because you can see we're adding a game property still, but it's just exactly what this is right here. And our pickup variable is going to be equal to the string like this, so it works like that. Alright, I'm then going to open the console really quick, so do window and then toggle system console. And you can see that if I hit P to play and tap a couple of times, you see that the water, food, and socks towards the top of our screen is just a random amount. And as you can see in the console, it picked up water, water, food, socks, water, food, water, water, water. It's just randomizing the entire thing. Alright, so this is how you make a simple inventory system. You can obviously go a lot more in depth, but this is going to work just for a simple, you know, I guess survival game. And obviously you wouldn't have 108 socks, but, you know, it works like that. Alright guys, hope you found this useful.